Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about deep conditioning. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. All right, so firstly, why do we deep condition? Deep conditioning is going to moisturize your hair. It is going to give you that extra kick of moisture. So your hair is going to be so much more shiny. It is going to have so much bounce. It is also going to help with shrinkage and definition. It is going to give you more elasticity and also it's going to prevent tangles and breakage. So how often should you deep condition? If you have high porosity hair, then I would say deep condition every single time you wash and style your hair. However, if you have low to medium porosity hair, I feel like you could deep condition once every three times you wash. And if that doesn't work for you and you feel like your hair needs a little bit more, then you can try deep conditioning once every second wash. Alright, so how should you deep condition and when should you deep condition and which step does it come at? So this is typically what I do and this is something I would recommend for high porosity hair. So I shampoo my hair, then I go in with a scalp massaging brush, then I wash the shampoo off, then I use conditioner and then I start detangling my hair. After I finish detangling my hair, I squish to condition and then I wash the conditioner off and then I go in with a deep conditioning mask. Okay, so today I'm using the Curl Up Hair Mask and I received this in PR and this is what I've been using the last two washes because I'm still in the process of testing out this product. So about deep conditioning, my recommendation would be to DC in shower on sopping wet hair not soaking wet hair but sopping wet hair. Make sure that your hair is completely drenched in water. Emulsify the product before application. This will warm up the product a bit and it will also enhance the spreadability of the product and also allow for better penetration into the hair cuticle. I generally use a mixture of roping, raking, glazing and praying hands for application. Once I'm sufficiently done applying the product to my entire hair length, I'm going to start combing to distribute the product evenly. Then I'll squish to condition. This will help to emulsify the product even more and give me a bit of curl training and also create curl clumps and allow for better cuticle penetration. Now I'm doing a two strand twist. Once I'm done twisting my hair, I'll put it up in a high bun. And notice that I'm clipping the hair on top. This is an intentional step. Now I'll use a plastic cap to cover all of my hair. And will you look at that? What a serve. This is glamour, darling. Nah, I know I look ridiculous. Okay, now time for the best part. I'm going in with my flaxseed microwavable heat cap. I'll pop it into the microwave for 40 seconds. Turn it inside out and pop it in for another 40 seconds. And then I'll place it on my head. Now, this cap has a bit of weight, so since I clipped my hair on top of my head, this is going to hold the cap in place and not make it droop. But if you feel like you want to double up, then you can take a clip and put it on top of the plastic cap, right under the heat cap. And that's it, you'll see that the cap will stay in place. Alright, so I'll keep this treatment on my hair for 30 minutes and then I'll wash it off. And then of course I'll style as usual. 
After I'm done with the 30 minutes of deep conditioning, I take the caps off, I remove the clips, I wash my hair out and then instantly I start styling. Generally, when I'm not on camera, I prefer to style in the shower. I don't do it outside. And as soon as I'm done styling, I plop my hair for 30 minutes, wait for those 30 minutes to go by, then I let my hair down and I typically air dry. So basically, I use conditioner and deep conditioner on every single wash day of mine. And this is something I recommend you do if you have high porosity hair and you're really struggling with moisture retention. However, if you have low to medium porosity hair, then this is what you could do. On days that you're deep conditioning, you can shampoo, go in with a scalp massaging brush, wash the shampoo off. And then after that, directly after that, go in with your deep conditioning mask, which means completely forego conditioning on that day. Use your deep conditioning mask because your deep conditioning mask is going to be so much thicker and it's going to have so much more slip and it's going to be way creamier than your normal conditioner. And so I feel like that kind of slip is going to be really good. So shampoo and then go in with deep conditioner and with the deep conditioner on your hair, you can start detangling. If you don't have a deep conditioning mask, then it's fine. Just use your normal conditioner. Or if you feel like you want an extra kick, then just add a few drops of oil to your conditioner and the oil that I suggest you use would be grapeseed oil because that is an oil that is very light it also penetrates the hair cuticle it's not going to weigh your hair down too much so if you use like two drops of oil and you mix it in with your conditioner this could be a really nice deep conditioning treatment for you without you having to go out there and buy yourself a mask and this is going to help you because you don't have to buy a separate product to deep condition. You can absolutely use your normal conditioner, your existing conditioner as a deep conditioning treatment. If you want to give it that little extra kick, then add a bit of grapeseed oil. Two drops don't go overboard and you should be fine. So once you have your deep conditioner on, all you have to do is do the simple twist up and then just clip your hair. If you're a beginner, I feel like this is a very, very good starting point for you to get into deep Deep conditioning. Once you feel like you've been in CG for a while, it's been a few months, then you can spend some money and get yourself the shower caps. They come in a set of three and they're 200 rupees, so you won't be spending too much money on them. Later on, when you progress on your journey and you feel like you have a little more money to spare, that is when you can go in and get yourself the heat cap. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about low porosity hair and how the heat cap is gonna help you. If you have low porosity hair, then your cuticle is shut very tight, right? Which is why when you add moisture, you add any kind of products, the cuticle does not typically want to let that moisture in. However, if you add a little bit of heat, by using a heat cap, it's going to allow the cuticle to open up a little bit and it's going to help you get a little more out of that deep conditioning treatment. Alright, another thing and I feel like we absolutely must address this. Does the heat cap really help? And if it does, how much does it help? Let me just tell you that I'm such a skeptic that whenever I get a new product, right? So right now I'm testing out this mask. My first instinct with any product, any new product that I try is always one of skepticism. So, you know, I look at the product and I'm like, hmm, what can you do for my hair? And are you going to make that much of a difference? I know that a lot of people, when they get new products, they're like, hmm, gimme, gimme. However, me, when I have a new product in front of me, I'm always like, hmm, really? Are you good? Prove it to me. And I know it's really strange and it's really weird, but that is just how I am. I typically approach everything with a bit of skepticism and I test it out quite a bit to see if that thing is actually going to add value and actually going to enhance my routine. And I can categorically tell you that the heat cap, in the beginning I was like, hmm, I don't know, is it doing anything? But when I stopped using it, that is when I saw the difference. So it really took me like a month or maybe a month and a half to really see the difference that that heat cap was making. My hair is so much more shiny these days just because I'm using the heat cap. And since I have high porosity hair, I feel like I really see the difference because even if one little factor in my styling routine changes by like 
just a little bit i feel like i see a significant difference in the moisture in the way that my hair looks in the way that it shines i can absolutely tell the difference which is why i'm telling you that yes the heat cap does work however if you're a beginner please don't spend so much money don't think that you have to go and run and buy that heat cap i would honestly say give it some time just start with the clips don't have to do anything else see if deep conditioning is making a difference to your routine if it is slowly slowly what you can do is buy yourself those shower caps so you're spending 200 rupees and then later on much later down in the line because i started using the heat cap when i was one year into my journey or or just before or i think just before i hit that one year mark so yeah I would say that don't feel like you need to run and buy the heat cap ASAP. I feel like this is an investment that you can make later on when you're way down in your journey because very honestly you don't have to chase that moisturization so quickly. The longer CG takes you, the more struggles you go through, the more you're going to fall in love with your journey. So seriously, do not rush. When you can later on down in the line, then you can pick it up. and if you're medium porosity i would still say that maybe you don't need the heat cap because your hair has no problem retaining moisture you're probably doing just fine however if you have high porosity and you have low porosity hair then i feel like these two hair types would really benefit from the heat cap but take your time and then buy it don't jump and buy it instantly that way if you take a lot of time before you buy the heat cap you will be able to understand the difference that it made to your routine okay so now i want to take you through all of the deep conditioning treatments that i currently own and i want to explain the differences between each so that it makes it a little easier for you to pick one also please note that i do have more masks at home however since i haven't tried them out like really really tested them out i'm not going to include them in this video I've arranged these masks from lightest to heaviest so based on your hair porosity and your moisture requirements you can choose the one that suits you best. The first mask is the Plum Mega Moisturizing Mask. I have a detailed review on this mask. I'll leave that video in the description. Protein does not feature in the top 5 ingredients and so we'll consider this mask to be a moisture option. This is the lightest mask I own and does not fit my DC needs. However, it has amazing slip and I use it extensively as a conditioner for detangling purposes. Next, we have the Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly Mask. This is slightly heavier than the Plum Mask. However, it's not moisturizing enough for my high porosity hair. This is the very first DC mask that I used and the moment I switched from this, I really saw a difference in my hair. Next up is the Bombay Shaving Company hair mask. This is also a moisture DC option despite the name. Protein doesn't feature in the top 5 ingredients. This mask just about does it for me when it comes to moisture. So, what do I mean by that? I have high porosity, heat and color damaged hair. I've explained the need for different levels of moisture based on your hair type in all of my product review videos. I'll leave some of them down in the description. Next are the masks from Wow. All their hair masks feature protein in the top 5 ingredients. They also have a good mix of small, medium and large proteins. You'll see mixed reviews of Wow Skin Science as a brand. However, I feel like the proof of the pudding is in its eating, and so I'll insert some footage of my results using this mask right here. All right, so these are my results as you can see. I have so much volume. My hair looks so nice and so big and as the days progress it's just going to get bigger. My scalp feels extremely moisturized. I feel so good about my hair. I feel like this is one of the best wash days I've had so far. What do you guys think? And also if you want to check out the entire video then I'll leave it down in the description. However, I have to say that if you're unsure about any brand, then my honest advice would be not to use their products. Because we have to remember that just because something works for me doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. Up next, we have the Intense Hydrating Hair Mask from Curl Up. I recently received the Curl Up range in PR, and this is the second time I'm using this mask. 
I'll have a detailed review up as soon as I have some concrete opinions on the brand. So far, I can tell you that this mask has amazing slip and it is also incredibly moisturizing. The next DC is my absolute favorite. This is the Shirolipam Hair and Scalp Treatment Mask. It is so nice and heavy and super duper moisturizing. So the packaging got a bit of a revamp and this is what the new packaging looks like. This is also something that I've received in PR. I've already finished one tub of this. And guys, I can tell you categorically that I absolutely love this mask. However, if I could have one little critique, I wish it was a little lighter on fragrance. Just Hubs doesn't usually have added fragrance, whatever comes from the ingredients itself. But my only critique would be if they went a little lighter on the fragrance. However, moisture-wise, every single time I pair this up with a heavier leave-in conditioner, I have the most amazing results. My hair retains moisture throughout the week. I do have a discount code with the brand. However, what I would say is every second month, they have like a buy one, get one sale. So let's say this mask is 750 rupees. What you could do is during their sale, you can get two masks for the price of one. And if you see that sale, guys, I would say jump on it because this is such an incredible product, especially for hyperosty girls who need a lot of moisture. The next masks are from Earth Rhythm. Both these masks are CG friendly and can also be used as leave-in conditioners. However, I have to say that when I received my package, I was a little upset because the plastic seal of the masks were already broken. It was like as if someone had already opened the products. I also saw some rust colored discoloration on the seal. The products smelt foul and expired. And so I reached out to the brand. However, they told me that there was nothing wrong with the products that I had received. So maybe this is just the way in which the products were intended to smell. However, I have not seen this caveat or this point mentioned in any of the reviews that I've seen online so far. So I want to share this with you guys. The masks appear to smell foul and expired to some individuals like myself and the products might also come with a broken seal. So do with that what you will. Now let's talk about the performance of the masks. They're a little too heavy for my hair to use as a leave-in conditioner. However, as a DC treatment, they perform well, but I would suggest using a very tiny amount so that you don't break out because these are more on the greasy side. Okay, that being said, are there other Earth Rhythm products that I've used and I've loved? Yes. Will I feature them on my channel? Of course, you're going to see them in my upcoming videos. That does not change. However, let's end with a silver lining. If your hair needs the mostest when it comes to moisturization, then maybe these masks could be a perfect fit for you. Alright guys, anyway, this is pretty much everything that I had to tell you guys about all of the masks that I've tried extensively so far. Alright, so that was pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you gained value. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about today's video. Alright guys, as always, I want to say thank you so much for watching. My name is Michelle and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.